Now that's really what we're seeing. Still some areas of concern on this product right there. You got the green, you got the red. You got winds in the green moving toward the radar site, and you got in the red those winds blowing in the opposite direction. You put these two together, and that's oftentimes when you can get some of that rotation, and that's potentially what we're seeing. This is a nasty storm right now. In fact, you can see right now, first I want to underscore the fact that this has now moved well to the northwest of the town of Wilcox, okay? And as we kind of look at it, let me hit pan. I know I'm in Daniel's show right now, but these uh, pretty much operate the same way. All right, I can pan right down. Daniel, you can do it. Pan down a little bit into southwestern sections of Graham County because right there, this area, this pink is obviously where we saw what Daniel and I were talking about, that inflow. It feeds the air that actually gives potentially some uh, tornadoes the energy to work with. Alright, let's see if we can pan down because I do want to show where that worst of the storm is. And it's right here. Notice that road kind of ends there. This would be coming up, butting up against Mount Graham here in the next several minutes or so. I'm going to loop this for you, see what direction it's moving at. And you can see it's a nasty storm. We got tons of lightning. We got heavy rain. This is severe. Even if there is no tornado, we're still likely seeing extreme damaging winds, but it looks like hopefully in the next five to ten minutes. And I also want to point this out. See that cluster of lightning we have right there? It looks like it's starting to not be as energized. We see fewer lightning strikes. This is certainly a severe thunderstorm right now. Let's go back to that velocity one more time because I do want to see if we have any of what the, we call couplets. A couplet again is where that green meets the red. That tells us that we can see some rotation. We're still seeing some uh, potentially troubled areas, but notice it looks like it's really to the northwest of the town of Wilcox. This is I-10, of course, right here. So if there were a tornado, it would likely be uh, moving off to the northwest at a pretty quick clip. Uh, let's see, Daniel, is the tornado warning off there? Or do you just not it have It is a not. It's still there. I was just going okay. back here just to kind of reset say, it a little bit. But It's just showing a severe thunderstorm warning right now. But yeah. if we add those layers, I'd just be interested. In, yep, yeah, it's still there. Okay, so this red cone, I know it's confusing. There's a lot of information on the map. But right here to there, that little sliver, it looks like it has definitely crossed over I-10. So they've moved that polygon for the tornado warning till 4:15 off to the northwest and why is that important it's important because quite simply put we just don't have a lot of population here and we're starting to enter the highest terrain so uh, we've had a few tornado warnings this summer. We had that one confirmation of a tornado, but oftentimes what the National Weather Service will do is they'll say, you know what, we're seeing some rotation. We're seeing the potential uh, for some concern. But again, there's no guarantee that there is a tornado. However, I will guarantee you right now that we are tracking a very dangerous storm across much of northwestern sections of Cochise County and southwestern sections of Graham County with or without even a tornado. And of course, it's our job to keep you safe and on top of this. I know Daniel's back there looking at the National Weather Service. Uh, Daniel, do you see any other uh, talk about what they're... Yeah, yeah okay, something go, interesting go here is that severe thunderstorm warning that we're talking about lasting until 445. They're saying a tornado is, is possible with that one. That's not really a surprise because obviously we've had that tornado warning issued already. But something else significant with that severe thunderstorm warning moving into southern Graham County is that we're looking at potential golf ball size hail, they're saying, along with 70 mile per hour winds. So even though we're talking about tornado here, Matt. A huge thing we like to look at with these storms is the straight line winds that tend to cause more damage than even tornadoes. Yeah, Daniel, can you put uh, the hail tracker on there one more time? Yeah, uh, yeah. He's going to do that for you because obviously if we pull out that hail, this is what Daniel and I were talking about right before he came on to his final weather hit and we were talking about that potential. We saw what looked to me like a pretty substantial, I'll let you do it, Daniel. It looked like a pretty substantial hail core. i got to move off screen for him to do that. My apologies. So, I mean, <laughs> look at that. We got some of those purple areas. Sometimes this overestimates about guys. This is Fort Grant Road. This is Wilcox. This was a nasty storm that just trekked off to the northwest, potentially ping pong size hail. That's all was damaging. We were showing you the velocity, certainly winds in excess of 70 miles per hour. That with or without a tornado can do an awful lot of damage. One of the legacies so far during this monsoon has been just the extreme wind damage. We've had trees down all across much of southeastern Arizona, and this one is no different. Let's zoom a little bit back up there. You can see still that's probably a hail core right there. This is obviously the worst of the weather. Let me loop it, see if we can see any trends with the radar signature over the course of the last five to 10 minutes. And once again, the timestamp now says 405. So this should be allowed to expire at 415 unless it is extended. No evidence that that will happen. Usually if we even do get a tornado, they're very 
much weak ones. They're very much on the ground for a not very long period of Good time. Good news, Matt, is it's moving towards the mountains. So that's right good. There. In fact, we just got an update from the National Weather Service saying they're going to cancel the okay. tornado warning right now. Good. So we're going to go ahead and reset this back towards all the warnings we have. If you want to go ahead and kind of yeah. set the scene here for that severe thunderstorm warning, flash flood Thank warning, I'll let you take it away from here. Thank you, Daniel. Nice job out there. And just to sort of recap, if you're just tuning into the top of the four o'clock broadcast, maybe we're coming on a little bit uh, late. We had a tornado warning. The National Weather Service has allowed to expire that. So the tornado threat looks like it's gone for now. We don't want to lose sight of the fact we got a nasty, severe thunderstorm warning for extreme southwestern portions of Graham County. Not a lot of population here. We have a flash flood warning till 630. We're talking about a lot of rain and one more severe thunderstorm warning for north central sections of Cochise County until 415. A lot of lightning. I think wind's still going to be a big factor, possibly in excess of 70 miles per hour. However, it does look the trends are keeping this really much in the mountaintops and a very rural slash remote areas of southern Arizona. All right, we're going to keep our eyes on this, but now it's back to the newscast. Here's Monica Garcia. All right, Matt.